what a day to take the Merce out on a cruise. It's 75 degrees here in Connecticut, almost the end of October, and uh, yeah, it's nice fall driving weather. Feels nice to be in the Mercy cruising. I mean, look at the interior on this thing. These are a tough car to drive. Uh, enjoyable, you know, in the V12 family. And when you drive this, you know, it kind of reminds you of the Aventador. They're very similar. I mean, obviously, the Aventador its technology is a little bit further advanced, like well, way further advanced, but they share a lot of similarities for sure. I mean, it also feels like it takes up the entire road from yellow line to white line. This thing just feels massively wide, uh, which I know it is, but it feels like you have zero room to play on the road with this thing for sure. Gotta love the sound of it. No exhaust on this one, factory exhaust, um, but still sounds, you know, it's got that nice sound to the V12. Alright, so we're cruising on the Merit in this thing. I have to say, it drives pretty nice. I don't know if I would rally this car. Um, you know, I don't know how comfortable that would be or, or sitting in this passenger seat, but overall, for a nice cruiser on a day like today, it drives nice. Windows are up. The AC doesn't work, we gotta fix that, so I'm, I'm sweating in here in a hoodie right now, so we're gonna put the windows down. But overall, really nice driving car. I wouldn't mind cruising around with this thing. It's, this is more of like a cruise A1A with the, with the windows down type of car. Not really a rally car, um, but just a nice cruiser. Tyler? Just dropped off the 12C. Yeah, and you're back with the Mercy. Took out the the 720 for a little cruise today too. Oh, did you? Yeah, we had we had recycled all the all the cars today. <laughs> this thing looks sweet. What do you dude. think, Tyler? This thing's nice, huh? Yeah, this thing's fire. Wanna go for a ride? Let's do it. All right. All right, Bryce. So the Mercy. I filmed on the way up, kind of went over how this car drives, but Tyler, correct me if I'm wrong. This car, it really reminds you of an Aventador in so many ways. Yeah, so many ways, yeah. no, but so many. Ways. I mean, like when you're driving this car. It just it feels like one. It's wide. It's yeah. bulky. It just it really feels like one. I mean, obviously being the predecessor to it, it should. But you know, we'll go for a little cruise. You can let me know what you think. Let's do it. Shifts just like an Aventador. It does. If you look on the dash here, Tyler, you can see my max speed on the way home was 109 in Mexico. Did it did it feel a little scary? It actually was smooth, but like just like the event where this thing shifts, it's like ah, like what's well, so what you're doing? It's crazy. It you know what I mean, like I mean, a GTR shifts smoother than these yeah. things, you know? Yeah. But I mean, they're cool. Like the 12 C, I was explaining on the way down. It's a driver's car. You know, you feel it feels tight. These things are a driver's car too, but they're just unforgiving. Like you mess up driving this car, you're you're gonna end up into the woods somewhere. Right. And that's just how it's gonna be. See the bat wings in the back. Yeah, those are pretty cool too. We can put those up and down. I mean, it sounds great, you know, the V12 sound on it, you know. It's stock, right? This is bone stock. stock. Bone, stock. bone stock. It has 3,731 original miles wow. on this car. I mean, wow. look at this thing. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's clean. It is so clean. It doesn't get better than this. No sticky buttons, nothing's worn off. I know Martin keeps his car in the garage, keeps it pristine. We're gonna do a full service on it. We'll pop out down here and kind of do a quick walk around on it. Sweet. And then uh, we'll get into the bay for service. Bryce, I gotta say, this thing is clean. It's clean. I mean, they, you know, they kind of look old, but they don't look old. They're like a futuristic old. I really love these cars. Yeah. This would definitely be one for the collection being a V12. Oh, for but, sure. I mean, if you look at how pristine this car is, I mean, look at the brakes. They're still brand new. Brembo on the, on the pads on it. Um, I think the tires may have even changed once on it, but we're gonna change them again. Um, but I mean, everything on the car is. Battery in it, yeah. The sound system done, it already has an escort in it. Um, but just, I mean, this car is clean. You, it you, is for the viewers, really you don't is. find them like this. No, you the don't. The only thing that would make this car any better would be a gated shifter. I know, which right? <laughs> are close to a million. I mean, 750, you know, you're not going to really find them. Um, e gear is cool on it, has the front lift on it, so it has pretty much every option out on the car. 
Um, but yeah, just a, a great color combo. It and this 12 c is the exact color as this car, which you saw, you know, we showed yeah, you in the video. Yeah, which is super cool. Yeah, so it's a great car. It is. One eternity later. Marin? What's up, baby? We got the Mercy in the Bay? Yep. Lambo to Lambo. Lambo to Lambo. From the Aventador to the Mercy Lago. Yeah. And then the Ferrari's waiting. What are we doing to this thing, Marin? This thing is getting the whole, um, what would you call it? Three season prep? Right. Maintenance. Yeah. Full maintenance, so I would doing, say. Yeah, full yeah. maintenance. And, you know, we are getting it ready for uh, the car season coming right. up. So uh, the battery shot, we're going to do that. Uh, somehow the... Um, I can't think of the name. The trickle charger that we had wired in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something went bad in there. We wasn't doing its thing. Yeah, it wasn't doing its thing. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to fix the battery. We're gonna get this thing new rubber because the rubber on this thing is definitely past its four year mark. Yep. Uh, oil change, we're gonna check all the fluids um, and then just make sure that she is in tip top shape. Awesome. For the season. Sweet. And then, yeah, this thing's actually a baby. I didn't know that it was that. 3,000 miles, Mario. Yeah, 3,733. You guys can see it a little bit right there. Oh, look at that dash from 1990. Yo, that's like, that's OG right that there. OG. It's this fire a, though. It, yeah, I like it. It's, it's a cool. 2004, it's nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's uh, definitely oh, OG in here. I just, the front lift just went down and I needed the front lift to stay up. <laughs> Martin, let me get some B-roll for the viewers. What's up, baby? Maintenance on the Lambo. What's the update? What do we got going on? All right, so uh, we got a new battery coming in right there. It's on the floor. Wow. Yeah. Um, I just checked the spark plugs. Spark plugs are okay. I mean, we did the spark plugs when the first thing got delivered, like, back in 2018. So. And it only has 3K on it. Yeah, so spark plugs are mint. Um, I'm going to check. I checked the air filter on this side, so we're good to go on that. I'm taking all this apart. We're gonna uh, wire, hard wire in two things: the LED controller for the fancy lights right okay. here. Um, so that's gonna get hardwired in, and we're also gonna hardwire in the battery tender. Sweet. So um, after that, we're gonna do oil change, and we got new rubber coming in. Because again, these tires are very old. Yeah, you want to show them? We'll grab one. Yes. Of the, we'll grab one of the older tires here. Where did we put them? Let's see. Uh, Actually, here. Come over here. Oh, there's one. There we go. Oh, wow. Let's see what we got. So this one is from... Let's see if we can find this, the date stamp. So as you can see, the tread still looks good. Yeah. But Martin's going to tell you right here. why you got to change it. These are really old. 03 of 2016. So the third week of 2016. So pretty much January. Right. Um... So what happens is, even though the tread is good and it feels good, if he goes hard on this, these tires are 
are essentially like hard now. Right. And they lost their gripping ability. So he'll just spin out. Right. Essentially. Like it doesn't matter how high you get these tires, you'll just spin out. Luckily, because he maintains the car indoors and all that, there's no dry rot. Yep. But with a tire this age, you know, going on eight years. Yep. Typically, we start to see dry rot. We might actually. See, let me see here. Yeah, there's really no dry rot in no. this. So, like I said, it's maintained very well, but um, yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna decide to put the hammer down on this thing, and right. then you're, you know, the tail end goes loose because these are very torquey V12s. Right. So, um, yeah, it's just not worth it. Just, just get new tires, new Sweet. rubber that's grippy. And we'll put them in. Also, these are like these P zero. These are P zero Corsos. I don't even think they make these anymore. I don't even Mario. think that. Yeah, <laughs> I think that the last P zeros was the Trofeos, right? Yeah. Or, those are like. Yeah. I believe those are the ones that replace the Corsos, didn't they? Something but, like that. Yeah. I run. I, mean, I run Michelin. Yeah. So that's just, that's where we're gonna get some four S's. Or the uh, best. Or the Contis are good. The Contis, the Contis have been really good. good too. Yeah, they they are really good. I just you know the pro the biggest problem with this is like these are fat. Yeah. So they these are three thirty fives. So we're gonna see if we can even get that size. Cool. But, um, they're probably gonna be like a thousand dollars a tire. That's fun. You know, Lambo packs. Always. Know. What are you gonna do? Well. But yo, check out. <laughs> well, actually, so the Aventador video, of course, will be up before this one mm. it's cool to see the difference yeah. from this motor to the to aventador one yeah. you just worked on so this is a pre-lp lamborghini and yep. for those guys that don't know what that means it was before essentially lamborghini started getting very involved with volkswagen auto group right um so this is still a lot of lamborghini obviously nothing not not that the aventador is not a true Lambo, it is because the V12, the transmission, right, the drivetrain, that's all Lambo. This though, this goes a step further. Like the throttle bodies, a lot of the sensors, it's all like Italian, you know. Cool. Um, Sweet. Whereas, like in the Aventador, you see the the typical Bosch throttle body that's used right. in a lot of you know Volkswagen Aud Audis. Right. This uses the. Uh, I think they're Magneti Morelli's throttle bodies, if I cool. remember correctly. Let me let me get the name here. Yeah. These Sweet. are Magneti Morelli. So this is like made in Italy, born in Italy. Yeah. You know? So, um, and same thing with these solenoids, you know? You'll see, like, the newer ones have a lot of these solenoids. They're all the Volkswagen Audi solenoids. Right. These are still the Lamborghini original stuff. Cool. Um, so... It is. It is cool. You yeah, know? Um, it's cool seeing the difference. Yeah, um, but you know, all in all, though, the, they're they're pretty similar. It's cool. like they're similar, but they're different. You know, this is this is also a six point two, and then the Aventador got the six point five. So a little bit bigger V twelve. Sweet. Yeah. Let's so, continue well, on. Yeah, I'm gonna keep ripping this thing apart, and uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Let's do it. Hey. In next day. Right. It's time. It's time, baby. The new rubber's here. Wow. Why don't you show them what we got? Let's go. Well, actually, mm. actually, oil change went well. Yep. No issues. Well, no, there was an issue. Um, whoever did an oil change on it last, I think it was the guys down in uh, Florida or Tennessee, wherever this car came from, okay, because it was shipped up here. The uh, the drain for the essentially the the oil tank, okay, that sits up in that corner over there. Okay. Okay. That drain was in there so hard, I thought it was gonna snap the bottom of the tank. So um, that was a pain in the butt. I had to get Bryce, you know, to okay, you know, just in case I I did break it. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's all fixed. Everything's proper now. So that's all set. Um, yeah, all the wiring is done. So. I mean, did we show the switches and all that stuff? For the, For the lights? Light? Yeah. I don't think we showed the location, yeah. so but we, we got, did We did show the lights. Yeah. So we got a little switch right here. Okay. okay. Bow. Bow. Okay. For the lights. And then um, this is our uh, battery maintainer. Cool. Okay. So a quick plug-in. Yeah, quick plug-in. And then for all the Lambo guys, okay, if you guys don't know this, you see this right here? 
This is a quick negative disconnect. So I do this and I pop it out. And wow. Boom, the car no longer can be started. So without this, the car will not start. Did you hear it? You heard it click in? It's priming. It's priming. That's the pump. For the transmission. It's thinking for a while. Yeah. Mario, why don't we show them the rubber we got sitting no over rubber. here? Brand new. Listen. Always rock the rubber. Okay. And listen. Good rubber, too. Yes. Good rubber. So these are Continentals. Yep. Okay. Extreme Contact Sport 2s. Wow. Okay. Uh, they're only a dry and wet type compound. Yeah. Okay. So they should be pretty sticky. It's a good summer compound. Um, it's going to be a lot better than these because these P0s oh, yeah. are eight years old. So these are from about 1998. Yeah. The, the <laughs> 2016. <laughs> <laughs> but. Check, check what Lamborghini did. That's very nice. Um, obviously, you know, high-end car. They want everything to look a certain way. Yep. But I'll let you guys take a look at the rim here, okay? Tyler, let's see if we can find the valve stem. Where's the valve stem on this car? So typically, Martin, it would typically sit on the sticks. outside, right? Yeah, somewhere. Look at it. Check it. And, or, or sometimes... You'll see it on the inside. Correct, correct. But yeah. All right. This Where is, is it? this is crazy. This is so nice. like you're not able to fill your tire. No. But you know because it's Lambo and you know they want everything to look nice. If you look real close right here. Wow. Oh, that's your valve stem. Did right you guys there. see it before? Yeah. Let, Let us know in the comments. comments. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Go ahead. So I took the tire off one of the front ones. Yeah. So check it out. So. Um, there it is. Our valve stem. Okay. Wow. Uh, now. Clever. I like that. Yes. It's very nice. It's clean, sharp. It's very in disguise. You don't see it. Um, but it sucks because if you get a nail, if you're driving and you get a nail and you, you're getting a flat or you're losing air and you got to go to the gas station, you can't put air in this. Tire. Listen, the Lambo's getting flatbedded. That's right. Lambo tax. I mean, once know. again, instead of just a quick little plug and fill. It's you're getting flat bedded. You're getting flat, but it's okay. <laughs> we have the fix for this guy. So tomorrow morning, I'll show you guys. I order these like special valve stem extenders. Okay. okay? We're going to keep them in the car for the guy. So if this does happen, all he has to do is unscrew the cap. Okay. And then screw in this little. Oh, you know what I just thought of? He's going to need a special tool to get the cap out. Because <laughs> you can't grip it. <laughs> you can't grip it's, it. We're calling the flatbed. <laughs> we're going the flatbed. It's, it's as simple as that. But anyways, tomorrow morning, you guys will see, I have little valve stem extenders coming, okay? What they do is once you have it like this, you screw it in, and it extends the valve stem out. Cool. So you can, you know, fill the thing with air if you need to. Um, but first, you know, for the guy that drives it, not me because I don't care, um, he's going to have to figure out how to get the cap out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. So let's go put some rubber on it. Let's do it. cinematic mode the murcielago is yes the murcielago 100 percent there mm -hmm. well 99.9 percent yes yeah, so yeah so we are waiting on the rear tires to get mounted because our corgi 500 cannot do these because of the offset on the reverse mount right because uh, we have no problem doing reverse the mount adapter tires, but we didn't have yeah, the correct adapter our adapter doesn't have the correct offset so uh with that being said i went ahead with the oil change and stuff like that yeah 
Uh, I do want to show you guys this before we do the cold start. So this little panel that sits here, yep. you actually unbolt it to get better access to the oil fill. Oh, sweet. And over there, your hydraulic pump and your coolant jug. So the oil fills right in this corner, right? Yeah. Yeah, there it you is. You can see, see it from it. the other side, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then, um, yeah, we'll do a cold start. I think it's time for everyone's favorite part. Now, yeah. is this stock or does this have an exhaust on it? It does have an exhaust. I don't okay. know what exhaust it is, but it does have an exhaust. Okay. Um, headers are stock. Headers are stock. Cats are yeah, stock. Cats, all that stuff. All, all stock. stock. Sweet. Um, and it's, it, I would say it's a pretty tame. mellow. Yeah, pretty tame, tame exhaust. It's not very loud. Um, this car gets loud, though, when, when you rev it, of course. Right, right. You know? But, yeah, let's go ahead and give him the cold start. Let's do it. sounding car Mario. Yeah, what do you guys think? I like it. I like it. Very like yeah. uh, high pitchy. It is. It is. I mean, I with with headers and, you know, oh, catless this, down pipes, yeah, this thing would be, would be ridiculous. Yeah. I think so. I think maybe I can talk to Martin and see if he'll, you know, see if we can do it. But it, to be honest, with the, with the setup now, it sounds good. Yeah, it, it sounds does. proper. Like it. it just yeah, exactly, proper, you know. Yeah. You don't want it too ridiculous cuz this is a beautiful Clean, clean. Sharp, very clean you know? example. Yeah, very clean so, example. Yeah, but well, that's all, folks. Guys, what uh, what Lambo do you guys want to see next? We did the Aventador. We just did the Murcielago. I mean, what else could we do? That I would mean, be fun. We did a Huracan. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, if, if Diablo. Anybody that's watching. Kuntash. As a Diablo or a Kuntash, if they need service or modified, you know. Let us know. Let us know and yep. we'll hook you up. We'll make sure we hook you up. We'll get you right, a good price. Right. Whatever you want, good price. Right. All, All right, right Mark. Check it.